Hello everyone, I am Gautam Patel from Sri Vaishnava Institute of Forensic Science. Today the topic of my presentation is latent fingerprint development. So first we talk about what is fingerprints. Fingerprints are distinctive ridge outlines which appear on the bulb on the inside of the end joint of the fingers and thumbs. Latent fingerprints. Latent fingerprints have been defined as markings of oily metal or perforation from the skin glands left upon any surface which the hands and fingers may have touched. These are invisible and require development treatment to make them visible. Latent fingerprint residue. Latent fingerprints are composed of several chemical residue through the pores in the fingertips and left on vertically every object touched. The primary component of latent fingerprint is sweat. Sweat is 99% water and will dry after a fairly short period of time. The other component of latent fingerprints are primarily solid and can remain on the surface of a much longer period of time. They include amino acids, glucose, lactic acid, peptides, proteins, lipids, potassium, sodium, calcium and numerous others. Now let's we talk about why fingerprints are important in criminal history. Fingerprints are unique. No two individuals have identical fingerprints. Fingerprints do not change throughout the lifespan of individuals. The fingerprints marking on some legal weapon often determine whether the act was that of suicide or murder. Latent fingerprints are found on various objects that come in contact with suspects and at a crime scene. As these are unique, a suspect can be defined as the perpetrator of a crime. <coughs> Let's talk where latent fingerprints are found. Latent fingerprints are found on smooth non-porous surfaces, rough non-porous surfaces, paper and cardboard, plastic packaging material, PVC, rubber and leather, metal unfinished wood, wax and waxed surfaces, adhesive coated surfaces. For the development of fingerprint, we have fingerprint field kit, which includes fingerprint powders, two brush of dark and light powders, two feather duster for light and dark powders, latent print lifting material, mounting material, fingerprints, record card, supply of cards for mounting latents, fingerprint and glass plate for inking. <coughs> in this next in this, let's, in this slide, <coughs> we concern about the methods of development. These include physical method and chemical method. In physical method, powdering methods, this method of developing latent fingerprint is based on the simple physical phen phenomena of adhering. The powder substance when applied to the latent fingerprint in a proper and systematic manner adhere to the secretion left on the object bearing latent fingerprints. The most commonly used powder are black and grey powders. Black powder are used for developing prints on white or light colored surface and grey powders are used on dark colored surface to give maximum contrast. <coughs> This slide shows will develop the fingerprint by grey powder and white powder and black powder. The next powder is fluorescent powder. When a latent prison are, are to be developed on multicolored surface, the usage of powder of the one color does not prove useful because of lack of contrast on the de developed fin fingerprint against multicolored background. Such type of impression are developed with fluorescent powders which can be applied like other powders. The prints developed with fluorescent powder glow under ultraviolet light and then can be photographed on an ordinary film. These powders are available in variety of colors like green, red and yellow. <coughs> Method of development. The selected powder is slightly applied to the suspected surface with a fine fingerprint brush. The brush is applied firstly in one direction and then in other direction. And when the ridges start appearing, the brush is done in a way that is motion follow, follows the flow of ridges. When sufficient powder adheres to the impression, the excess powder is carefully brushed away with a light soft touch. Number two, when the object is small and movable, it can be tightly to remove the sprinkled fingerprints powder. The excess powder on the fins is removed carefully by soft and light touch of the brush. Identifying method. This method depends on the principle that when 
the oily and fatty deposits of the latent impressions come in contact with the iodine films produced by subjecting iodine crystal to slight heat they become visible in yellowish brown color these prints are however not permanent and should be photographed before they begin to fade and are at their full intensity second is uh, iodine filming can be carried out in a closed chamber or with the help of an iodine filming pipe these are the image of developed uh, fingerprint of by uh, iodine filming method now let's talk about chemical method these methods include silver nitrate method in hydrin method osmic acid method first is a silver nitrate method this method is based on the fact fact that the sodium chloride of the deposited perspiration in the latent impression react with silver nitrate solution to form silver chloride which is light sensitive when exposed to light it break into its component silver and chloride the development are reddish brown in color a 5% silver nitrate solution is generally used for this purpose mean hydrin method the development of fingerprints with nin hydrin is based on the chemical reaction of nin hydrin with amino acid which are present in percussion causing the formation of purple reddish stains that render latent impression visible normally 1.5% of nin hydrin is used in this method this image is nin hydrin method se jo banayi gayi fingerprints hai wahan osmic method osmic acid method this method is based on the reaction of osmic acid vapors with oily matter of latent impression when osmic acid vapors come in contact with sebaceous matter it is reduced to metallic osmic which is blue colored the solution is prepared by dis dissolving 3 gram of osmic acid in 100 cc of carbon tetrachloride either or ethyl alcohol thank you